Beneath the shifting sands of Central Asia, in the silent embrace of forgotten tombs, scientists uncovered something that should never have survived. Ancient bodies, preserved for millennia, still held a hidden code. A code that whispers across time. Not carved in stone. Not written in ink. But locked inside their very cells. DNA. For centuries, the Silk Road was known as a vast network of trade and culture. A highway of spices, silk, and power. But what if it was more than commerce? What if the truth, hidden in bloodlines, changes everything we thought we knew? The deserts of Xinjiang, the mountains of Gansu, the forgotten oases along the Silk Road, all hold secrets. Travelers from distant worlds once crossed paths there. Their stories vanished, their names erased. And yet, within a single strand of DNA, the truth waited. Recent discoveries shook the scientific community. The ancient remains did not fit the simple story we were told. They belonged to people whose origins defied borders, whose genetic signatures rewrote the very history of East and West. Were they merchants, migrants, or the missing link of civilizations long thought separate? This is not just archaeology. This is not just history. This is the reanimation of forgotten lives, whispering through the most advanced science of our age. And tonight, we ask, could ancient DNA from China force us to rewrite the history of the Silk Road forever? The Silk Road, a network stretching more than 6,000 kilometers from the imperial palaces of Chang'an, today's Xi'an, across the burning Taklamakan Desert, through the icy passes of the Pamir Mountains, and all the way to the markets of Rome. It was not just a road. It was a lifeline of empires. Gold, silk, jade, horses, and spices flowed like rivers of wealth. But along with them traveled something far greater. Ideas, religions, technologies, and people. By the 2nd century BCE, caravans moved in endless lines. Tens of thousands of camels carried goods across terrain so hostile it killed the careless in hours. Great cities rose from dust. Dunhuang, Kashgar, Samarkand, each an oasis of culture, but also a crossroads of humanity. Historians long believed they could map these exchanges with trade records and ancient texts. But paper lies stone crumbles, and what truly passed between East and West remained hidden, until DNA opened a new door. The bodies found in China's western deserts were unlike any expected. Tall figures with striking features, buried in boat-shaped coffins beneath the sand. Some wrapped in woven textiles that looked oddly European. Their very existence forced uncomfortable questions. Were they locals who adopted foreign styles? Or outsiders whose journey across continents began long before written history recorded them? The Silk Road, once seen as a highway of goods, suddenly became something deeper, a biological highway. A place where bloodlines merged, where the story of humanity itself was written. And as researchers extracted DNA from these long-forgotten remains, they realized the mystery was far larger than anyone had imagined. It began in the late 20th century, when archaeologists stumbled upon a series of tombs deep in the Tarim Basin, western China. The desert here is merciless. In summer, temperatures soar above 40 dequadrices. In winter, the winds slice like knives. And yet, inside shallow graves beneath shifting dunes, Bodies lay astonishingly preserved. Not skeletons, not fragments, but entire mummies, skin, hair, even clothing still intact after thousands of years. The most famous of them was discovered near a place called Xiaohe. Buried in coffins shaped like upside down boats, the dead stared out through time with haunting eyes. Some wore tall felt hats, 
others wrapped in patterned wool. Their appearance shocked the world. Blonde hair, high noses, features that looked strangely European, and yet they rested in the heart of China's deserts. For decades, scholars debated. Were these mysterious people travelers from faraway lands, descendants of nomads who wandered across Eurasia, or an isolated culture that simply resembled others by coincidence? The artifacts gave no clear answer. Wooden phallic symbols, strange masks, cheese placed at their graves as if to feed them in the afterlife. The clues were rich but confusing. Then came the turning point. In the early 2000s, with advances in genetic science, researchers realized that the bodies still carried something even more valuable than the objects buried beside them. Strands of ancient DNA, sealed within bone and tissue, waiting to be read like a forgotten book. That was when the whispers of the past began to grow louder. The Silk Road's mystery was no longer a matter of speculation. It was about to be tested scientifically, molecule by molecule. When the first samples were taken from the Tarim mummies, scientists knew they were attempting the impossible. DNA, after thousands of years, usually breaks apart. Heat, dryness, and time destroy the fragile code of life. But in the desert's dry embrace, fragments had survived. Tiny shards of identity trapped within bones and teeth. Laboratories in China, Europe, and America joined forces. What they sought was nothing less than a genetic map of the Silk Road's earliest travelers. The process was painstaking. Each bone sample had to be treated like gold, handled in sterile chambers to avoid contamination. Ancient DNA is like smoke, fragile, fleeting, easy to lose. Even the breath of a researcher could erase a sample forever. Teams worked for years, repeating tests, filtering noise from true signals. Slowly, sequence by sequence, the genome of the Tarim people began to take shape. But what they found first only deepened the mystery. The DNA did not match the expected patterns. These people were not simply migrants from Europe, as their appearance suggested, nor were they identical to local East Asian populations. Instead, their genes pointed to something far stranger, a lineage that seemed to reach back to the very dawn of Eurasia. A genetic echo of people who had vanished from history, long before the Silk Road was even imagined. The findings forced the team to expand their scope. They began sampling remains from across Central Asia, from the Gansu Corridor, from ancient fortresses, from forgotten burial grounds scattered along caravan routes. The goal was to trace how populations moved, merged, and vanished across millennia. But every answer led to new questions. Who were these ancient ancestors? How did their bloodlines spread across such impossible distances? And why had history erased them, leaving only silent bodies in the sand? The world was about to learn that the Silk Road was not just a bridge between East and West. It was built upon the bones of forgotten peoples, and their DNA would finally speak. The results arrived after years of silence, and they shook the foundations of history. The DNA from the Tarim Basin revealed a lineage that had no simple origin. These people were not newcomers, not merchants passing through, and not migrants from a distant land. They were descendants of an ancient population, one so old it stretched back to the Ice Age. Their genetic profile linked them to the mysterious ancient North Eurasians, a group that once roamed vast territories of Siberia more than 10,000 years ago. This discovery shattered assumptions. Until then, historians had argued that the striking features of the Tarim mummies suggested recent migration from Europe. But the DNA told another story. These were not foreigners at all. They were a deeply rooted population, isolated for millennia in the desert oases of western China. 
The Silk Road did not bring them there. They had been there long before the first caravan ever crossed the sands. Yet the science also revealed something extraordinary. In surrounding regions, along the Gansu Corridor and beyond, other ancient remains showed a mix of genetic signatures, East Asian, Central Asian, and West Eurasian. This meant that while the Tarim people stood as a genetic island, their neighbors were already mixing. The Silk Road was not just a channel of goods, but a laboratory of human diversity, where bloodlines intertwined in ways the written record never captured. Through isotopic analysis, researchers even reconstructed their diets, dairy products, wheat, barley, foods that originated thousands of kilometers apart, proof that cultural exchange had reached the Tarim Basin long before history recorded it. Their graves were more than burials. They were time capsules of globalization's first chapter. The evidence was clear. The DNA of these ancient people had rewritten the origins of the Silk Road. It was no longer a story of merchants beginning in the Han Dynasty. It was a story of forgotten civilizations whose genes still echo in the living populations of Eurasia today. Picture it. 5,000 years ago, the heart of Asia was not silent. In the Tarim Basin, small communities thrived on the edges of deadly deserts. They built wooden boats not to sail rivers, but to bury their dead. They crafted textiles with patterns resembling distant cultures. They kept cattle, sheep, and goats. They milked them, made cheese, stored food for journeys. These were not wandering nomads. They were survivors, rooted to their land, yet connected to the great web of exchange stretching unseen across continents. As the centuries passed, caravans began to emerge. Strangers arrived from the east with silk and bronze. Others came from the west with wheat and horses. Cultures collided in markets and oases. Along the Gansu Corridor, languages mixed. New religions, Zoroastrianism, Buddhism, traveled in whispers before spreading like wildfire. Each traveler carried not just goods, but DNA, leaving fragments of themselves in new lands. The Silk Road, once thought to be born in the Han Dynasty, was in fact a continuation of something older, deeper, primal. The Tarim mummies were living proof. Their genes linked Ice Age hunters of Siberia to Bronze Age farmers of Asia, weaving humanity's first global tapestry. From them spread bloodlines that reached into India, Persia, even Europe. They were not outsiders to China. They were one of its ancient foundations. But their story is also one of disappearance. Over centuries, their isolated DNA was absorbed, diluted, replaced by waves of new migrants. Their distinct features faded, their language lost, their customs erased. All that remained was silence, until the desert gave them back to us. Now, as we reconstruct the dawn of the Silk Road, we see not a single highway, but a living organism, an endless pulse of trade, culture, and blood. A place where East met West long before empires rose, long before history was written, and at its heart, the forgotten people of the Tarim Basin, whose DNA proves they were the hidden architects of humanity's first global connection. The discovery of ancient DNA in the sands of Western China forces us to look at the Silk Road not as a highway of goods, but as a living artery of humanity. These forgotten people of the Tarim Basin were not strangers who appeared suddenly in history. They were the silent witnesses of its beginning. Their genes reveal that global connections began long before maps, long before dynasties, long before the name Silk Road was ever spoken. Through their DNA, we glimpse a world where borders did not yet exist, where cultures collided, merged, and transformed where the origins of globalization were written not in ink, but in blood. The striking faces of the Tarim mummies, once thought to be an unsolved mystery, 
now stand as reminders that history is more complex, more connected, and more fragile than we ever imagined. But one question remains. How many other secrets still lie beneath the sands? How many stories, erased by time, wait for science to resurrect them? The Silk Road is no longer just history. It is a puzzle still unfolding, one that continues to redefine who we are and where we came from. And if this discovery has shown us anything, it is this. The past is never truly silent. It waits. It whispers. It demands to be heard. If you want to keep uncovering the mysteries of our ancient world, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and explore the other episodes we've prepared for you. Because the story of humanity is only beginning to be told. And the next revelation may change everything once again. It's